Welcome to Brent's Anime Recommendation Corner, where I talk about anime that I love. Um, but I usually do it without this hat, which I'm going to do now. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Brent's oh. Anime Recommendation Corner, where I talk about anime that I happen to love. Um, and today I'm talking about Figure 17. I think you mentioned before. I think I, I, I have mentioned this before. Yeah. Um, so the basic premise is, this is a... Um, um, I have described this as half sci-fi action adventure and half Studio Ghibli film. Um, so a, um, it, is, it is set in Hokkaido where a young girl is living with her uh, father. Um, uh, they re recently moved from the big city. Um, although I think that might be like Sapporo um, out to the country. Um, Tokyo. Yeah, not Tokyo. Um, and so she's living out there, um, very cute little girl. Uh, he is um, the, the new baker in town pursuing that career. He left the big city to um, pursue his career after her mother died. Um, although her mother had died you know, a little while, uh, well, actually, not, not that far in the past. Um, and uh, so she is now getting used to um, a new life out in the middle of nowhere. She has to make new friends. And she's a very quiet, shy girl. She just doesn't make friends easily. She's, uh, you know, having difficulty kind of with, with that kind of stuff. Um, and as you can see, like, she kind of has to get herself going because bakers have early hours, in case you didn't know. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, um, they do. Yeah. So she, she goes off to school. Um, and then <laughs> a spaceship crash lands in her backyard. Uh, well, in the woods behind her, her house. I think this was... 2000 when this was made, roughly. Yeah. Um, and so the spaceship um, lands in the, in the woods and she uh, investigates. I will see if I can get to some of that stuff. Because um, we, we have a lot of this sort of, you know, little kids interacting in school um, uh, and uh, a little bit of, of things happening there with a little bit of a melodrama there. Um, May 2000 to May 2002. 2000, thank you. Um, 2001. And, Sorry, 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 okay. sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, and then she, we actually have a little bit of a Totoro moment there where she goes running to the Papa. Um, after just a, 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 a long day at school, shall we say. Um, so then, oh yeah, there's, we, we won't get into that. Um, um, basically, her dog runs away. She runs um, out of the woods where she sees a crashed alien spaceship uh, where monsters have um, gotten out. Big, terrifying um, monsters with lots of teeth. Um, and the way she deals with that um, um, is she, she accidentally activates. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not pleasant. Um, um, she accidentally activates a power, um, which I'm not going to be able to find a, an image of it, but let's just uh, say... This alien race has has these bio suits that they can activate, which forms over their bodies and gives them powers, ability to fight things and and defeat these monsters. When once this has happened, um, this bio suit um, synchronizes with you, and when it then goes back into its rest state, it goes back into your physical form. A human, a human formed creature with its own AI that you can talk to and, and, and speak with. The idea, you know, assumedly being that if you want to then like, use this, this, this machine, whatever, it is most convenient to have in the same shape as you are because then it can, you know, it, it can sit in a chair or do whatever, right? And, you know, it, it has the same kind of physical form you have. And so it has that, it, that element to it. When she activates this, it takes on her form. Unfortunately, other monsters escape. So she has to um, keep this AI with her. So they slightly change the memories of her father so that she now has a sister, a twin sister. Mm -hmm. They can live with her for a while until they find all the monsters and are able to get them back. So it's sort of a monster of the week thing, right? Um, but here's the thing. The AI is not her. 
It is a, an intelligence that is curious about the world, that wants to know kind of what's, what's going on and, and, you know, kind of life. And is much more outgoing, much more naturally curious. So basically, the premise is, imagine spending a summer with your more outgoing, friendly self. And observing her at school, observing her with your friends, kind of now competing with her, in a way. Like, not directly, but now she's making friends and you're not, right? Yeah. So there's that whole layer going on. Very slice of life. Absolutely slice of life. And then, you know, um, call comes in, they have to merge, fight off alien creature, and do that. And then... Once they defeat all the monsters, the aliens are all going to go home. Right? So they're not going to stay together forever. Right? Like, that's part of the premise. She's going to go away eventually. She's going to lose her sister, basically. So there are all these interesting sort of levels to their personality and their relationship that are explored throughout the course of, of the story. This is the only anime I know that has ever been made in this way um, in, um, every episode is 45 minutes long. Oh. Which they aired monthly. The idea being that if they spend you know, they, could, they basically have twice as much time to spend on every episode. Because it's, you know an hour-long episode once a month instead of half an hour every week. So they could put the time and the effort into the visuals, into, all, yeah, 13 episodes long, but 45-minute episodes. So it's, you know, roughly a 26-episode series length. Yeah. Um, wow. If she wants to stay on Earth, that's too bad. Like, she is, a, she is an AI on this planet. Like, they can't just leave behind this tech on Earth, right? They're not just going to let this stick around like she needs to be that's that's the, the premise at least um and like she doesn't have a say in that right like she's equipment basically right uh, now to be clear like the the um the sci-fi alien guy that they they, they live with or that is, that is doing this whole operation like he doesn't treat her as a tool like he recognizes that she has sentience and so forth and so on but like that's not part of the plan I have yet to meet anyone who said, well, no, everyone I've met or read online who said they've watched Figure 17 also said that they cried at the end. Oh. Myself included. Um, it's one of those shows. Um, it's not, I'll put it this way, it doesn't end with the earth exploding. <laughs> it's not one of those shows, <laughs> right? It's not that kind of a thing. No it, slow clapping. No slow clapping, right. But it is, um, it's, a, it's a drama. It is very much a drama about that thing and these characters dealing with that situation. Um, I was extremely impressed with Figure 17. Now, it is 2001, 2002. Anime budgets were not huge at the time. So do not expect absurdly, you know, high budget action sequences sure. in every episode. But... The, the attention to the emotional detail or the, the emotional journey of the main character and what I really appreciate, how the kids all act really hit home for me. Like, it feels honest about how these kids are interacting. They're all, I think, like fourth grade. Um, and so they have that aspect where they're not mature yet. Um, and they're, they interact and they're, they're often immature, um, but they're not all idiots, right? They're not all treated like they're just either miniature adults or they're just, you know, complete tabula rasas. They're, they have these personalities, they have these approaches to things. Um, and so it, it has this honesty to it that I really appreciated. Um, and it has some, some very serious moments as well, um, dealing with, um, uh, some of the characters' um, backstories and so forth and so on. So I was very impressed with Figure 17. Um, it was a, a really strong um, story. 
all the way through um, and um, really did emotionally get to me at the end, which, you know, that's often what I look for in anime is just a, a, a strong finish. That's what I got.